Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this episode is E A um, E A sixty two. Pattern your life on empower your pattern two point oh. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick. Remember the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Success Conference, and Thrive Coach. I wish to let you know that there are patterns to help you receive more, help you live a better and extraordinary life right now. I also believe that there are spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities in the everyday life. So if you come with me, I will show you these patterns. Get ready. Let's go. Won't you step into the writer's man cave while I sit and we, we, we talk about how we can pattern our lives? I think one reason why we should is to overcome limiting beliefs. I think a lot of what causes limiting beliefs in our lives are what I like with what uh, Ray Higgins calls the sacred hurts. The hurts that we had in, in childhood were like the needs that were never met that only God can, can meet and then through that he can build through self-belief okay how, how will I know you to accept that well I, I, I hope so You know, the last time I played this this music was pretty early in the series, uh, EA uh, 26, when I talked about that, that self-soothing mantra that I use from time to time. Because it is my testimony of Jesus Christ that He does live. And He, be, he begins, in my belief, His the the way to pattern your life. So we're going to go ahead and cover really the way I see it is kind of a, a combined method of patterning your life. You know, t- tapping into self-belief and, and overcoming those and Really looking into the merge of temporal and spiritual matters in, in, in your life that are based on those, those patterns of success. If you remember from yesterday's episode, I said that the basis for me creating uh, this, this arm of the series is uh, you pattern your enterprise. And you do that based on the patterns of success. And the same thing goes with how you pattern your life. Right? And something that uh, uh, Ray Higdon said is that uh, he was able to overcome his sacred hurts by learning to trust in Heavenly Father. I realize that may not be you know, something that you guys may be up to, but I've had to rely on Heavenly Father to heal some of those uh, sacred hurts I've had um, since childhood. And we all have them. And you know, the good news is, what the good news is, those sacred hurts, those, those things we needed in childhood we never got. In, in many ways, those things are the things that God gives to us to bless the lives of others. 
were what we weren't able to receive as children. We were able to provide more, you know, whether it's more love or more praise or being being a, a good friend. And because of because of my fragile state and fragile health, I didn't have very many friends to really play with. And then, but eventually, I was able to learn to become a good friend to those around me. Well, that's how I like to see myself in some ways. Okay, so that tells you how. <clears throat> the real hurt that, that you might have from childhood. God, God compensates you for, for those by giving you those those things that you didn't get and also allowing you to be able to re-gift those to others in a way that is beyond anything that you can believe. And so this is kind of like where the temporal, the temporal merges with the, the spiritual, if you know what I mean. Because many of you know, you you might some might see me as you know the the, the motivator. Others of you might see me as the adversity guy. You know, it's something. Uh, for years there, for a while in church, people would come up to me and say how amazed they were with all the adversity that I have overcome. And really, it's I was able, I was able to overcome all the uh, the. Uh, Adversity and all the odds. Praise Jesus. I mean, let's face it. Christ is the one that set the pattern for us to, to, to live by to, to begin with. Okay, so. And when I say spiritual, you know, temporal has kind of merged there t together. Many of you know, in, in my church, we kind of have a, a way of living, a health law that is really, it's, it's a way of life that we, that we go by that I feel like sometimes the world scoffs at, but it's, it's a blessing. And it, it's a pattern for us uh, spiritually, and a pattern, believe it or not, I see it's a pattern for us temporally. And in patterning this area, you, you really can't separate those, if you know what I mean. You're, you're, in, in, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that we're. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. <laughs> I'm glad to see that. Now, here's another way that I switch to patterning your life is patterning your your business. You know, we 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 kind of talked about that in some ways uh, in in the episode yesterday, but <clears throat> today. When I think about patterning businesses, your business, you should be looking for who uh, you can pattern your business after. You know, look after certain mentors. Me, I, I look at, uh, you know, men like a, a Presley Swagger. I look at, at, at a man, um, his name is Randy Hedge. He's the, he's a cowboy, you know, he's a, He's a humorous cowboy who knows how to 
discuss the, 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 the pattern in business in, in, a, in a humorous point, but in a way in which everybody gets across. You know, you might say, well, how do you pattern your business? First of all, you know, your business model. The the business is in, I think, really, some, some of the best metals business models that you can go into is, is systems that are, that are ready made for you to grow and, and, and everything. So, there, there we go. And now we, this is where, this is where in some ways, for the last uh, six minutes, we, we kind of put it together. Patterning uh, your life. It's kind of how about it. We've 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 accomplished so much, you know. Um, just a chance chance to, to to bring it all together. If you think about, I'll bring the music back up again. If you think about the um, episode EA26, when I brought up Jesus saves and we're okay, salvation itself is a pattern. Um, and I believe it, 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 it's a process. And it's one that is being saved from, from hell. Um, in many ways, it's saved from wrongdoing. It's saved from um, living wrong patterns. So that's the thing. When 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 when, when I think pattern in my life, one of the basic things I like to say is that this is the scriptures. I depend on the scriptures of how to know. Along with the people that I would listen to to help work and uh, help me help me work, grow and, and develop develop. You know? Because in, you, you you have progress if you're Working on patterning your life, okay? So, there you go. It's where you throw the excuses out the door. It's where, okay, so maybe I've had some complicated family dynamics, but it, it's time to move on and, and, and work on my life wherever I can. Where you can where you can feel good about yourself and, and and patterning your life, patterning your family, patterning your your work, you know. And hopefully all goes well with that. Your business becomes prosperous and you're you're laughing on the way to the bank. Okay? But I also think that patterning your life involves a mindset. If we keep confessing negative and holding on to limiting beliefs, we're not going to move beyond the lid that we, we've already set for ourselves. But, okay, say you pattern your, your life. You pattern yourself with Christ as your sinner. And you turn to him to help you grow your self-belief. And that's where it starts. Okay? Because 
I think without faith in the higher power, you're sunk, okay? And and Christ is the center of my life. Non-negotiable. So, so there's times when we, 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 we go down. Things don't go so well. But the good news is the Lord's there. We, the patterns go up and, and back, back down. What you do is you, you find another way to repattern and you move on. You see what I you mean? I really find doing this episode kind of in many ways healing. And I'm going in for a mental health follow-up later on this, this morning. And really, the one thing I can hope on, hope for, is that uh, that I have made some improvements from where we are, and and we all can. We all can make improvements, and that way, the cancer of the soul doesn't get us. And then we've got this. Now, with that, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of Pattern Realm. This is Jimmy Hendrix saying until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can. Please share this with Mama Son, Papa Son, and everyone. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. And God bless each and every single one of you. God bless you.